Imagine a world where routine blood tests no longer require a trip to the clinic. No waiting rooms, no needles, no appointments. Just you at home taking control of your health. Today, we are exploring the rise of at-home blood draw devices and we will test two leading innovations, Tasso and Red Drop. Traditional blood draws can be inconvenient and uncomfortable. For many, especially those in remote areas or with mobility challenges, accessing phlebotomy services is a hurdle. It's also a complicated question when it comes to collecting blood samples for clinical trials. At-home blood collection devices aim to simplify the process, making it more accessible and less invasive. Two companies were kind enough to send me their devices to test for free. As always, I accepted the free devices without any sponsorship or payment. I will tell my opinion as the medical futurist. First up, let's look at Tasso. We have to clean the application area on our upper arm. Tasso's device then adheres to your upper arm. We peel off the adhesive backing and attach the device and press the activation button. Once it's activated, it uses a gentle vacuum to collect a blood sample without the need for needles. We wait for the collection to complete, indicated by the fill line. Then remove the device and send the sample back to the lab. The process is designed to be virtually painless and straightforward. Next, here is Red Drop. Red Drop's device also targets the upper arm. It incorporates a heat pack to increase blood flow, just like it does so, ensuring an efficient collection process. Just like with the first device, we activate and apply the heat pack to the upper arm for one minute, then clean the area with the provided alcohol wipe, attach the Red Drop device to the warmed area, slide the actuator to begin collection, and once the sample is collected, indicated by the same fill line, we can remove the device and prepare it for mailing. The evolution of such at-home blood draw devices has been magnificent. About a year ago, we tested a Tasso device, which was different. It was bigger and it collected dried blood samples. But collecting real blood sample would be a game changer. Of course, laboratories will have to find a way to be able to measure any kind of major biomarker without the need for huge amounts of blood. But if they can solve that, the other technology which we need at home to collect the blood samples is here already. So both Tasso and Red Drop offer FDA clearance for at-home use, virtually painless blood collection, easy to follow instructions, compatibility with various lab tests. The choice between them may come down to like personal preference and specific testing requirements, maybe geographical locations. But at-home blood collection is more than just a convenience. It's a step towards a personalized, accessible healthcare. As technology advances, we can expect even more innovations that empower individuals to take charge of their health. And by embracing these tools, we are not just simplifying blood tests, we are redefining the patient experience. And as always, stay curious, safe, and keep shaping the future. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.